This story is the most extraordinary moment in history, is that right at the end of the Second World War, a few months after the end of the war, and the British were given the job of running a massive part of Germany, centered on Hamburg, and a British officer invites his wife, Kira Knightley, over to join him. And she's extremely anti-German because they lost their child in the bombing in the Blitz in London. And even worse, her husband allows the German occupants to stay in the house. And it's very interesting how her journey from hatred to affection alters during the course of the film. Well, it was an amazing cast. Obviously, Kira Knightley was the first one to come on board. So, of course, made things a lot easier to have her on board. Um, and then my dream wish was Alexander Skarsgård for Stefan Lubert, the German, because he is different for us, but he's also extremely handsome and somebody that you would perhaps be drawn towards. And then uh, Jason Clark, who's a really terrific actor to play, to play the husband in the film. Well, I enjoyed two things. Working with three world-class actors was fantastic. Um, and, but also creating these worlds, these big, devastated worlds of huge ruins and um, Armageddon, really, on Earth, which is exactly what it looked like. And I think for an audience today to realize that we've really got to work together as individuals and as governments to work towards reconciliation in order to make sure that that never happens again. I think if you're going to tell a story about Armageddon and love in the time of Armageddon, you need a big screen. You need a big screen to see the scale of that destruction and you need a big screen to feel the scale of the emotions that they're going through. And I think that's, that's really why it should feel intimate and epic at the same time. I always think that's an important quality of high quality drama, that you have these very intimate moments. It might be just a small kiss or a finger running along the collarbone against these massive, massive landscapes of what looked like Syria, but far, far worse, which is exactly what it looked like. I want the audience to connect with their fellow human beings in the cinema. You know, it's, it's, it's one of those films which centers on empathy, and on the fact that we're all the same. There is very little difference between human beings. And actually, if you can just see beyond the photographs, beyond the newsreels, and understand that these people have ambitions, they have love affairs, they have funerals, they have laughs, they have joy and sadness in their lives. I think that's what a film like this can teach. It's like, don't judge people by their cover. Spend time with them. I think they're going to expect a real romance of a kind of classical style. They're going to see a story of reconciliation. It's very, very um, pertinent to our times. Uh, and a story of real redemption, actually. The story of character that Kira Knightley goes on, by the end she's a changed woman and it's all done through love and tenderness and compassion.